seamless steel tubes. Hardly any branch of industry can manage without them. Demands such as a long lifespan, high corrosion and pressure resistance, and extreme temperature stability can only be reliably met by top quality tubes. Whether in oil or natural gas fields, offshore and onshore, in petrochemical applications, or used to convert primary energy to electricity in fossil or nuclear power plants, in architecture and construction engineering, in engineering for example as mechanical tubes for steel construction, as well as in many other applications, the high stress resistance of seamless steel tubes makes them a versatile and reliable design element. Valurec has its own steel mills in the US, Brazil and France and also holds a share in the Krupp Mannesmann integrated steel mill in Duisburg. Steel mills of one's own are the basis for high quality and a secure supply. The round billets that are used as primary material in Mülheim usually come from Hüttenwerker Krupp Mannesmann or the Valurec plant in saint sauve Many fields of application require seamless steel tubes in sizes of less than 7 inches. The Mülheim plant perfectly covers this sector. Round billets made of almost 100 different kinds of steel are stored at the billet yard of the Mandrel Mill in Mülheim. The billets are heated to a rolling temperature of up to 1,280 degrees Celsius in a rotary hearth furnace with a diameter of 40 meters. A process computer guarantees optimum heating as well as the maintenance of the prescribed drawing temperature, depending on the material. At the piercing mill, the billets are inserted by a pusher into two piercing rolls, which rotate in the same direction. The piercer rolls drive the billet over a plug, which is fixed on a bar behind the rollers. That brilliant invention of the Mannesmann brothers, the piercing mill, proves itself to be the indispensable basis for the manufacture of seamless steel tubes during the continuous mandrel mill process. In the piercing mill, the billet is turned into a hollow with a maximum length of 9.5 meters. This hollow now runs through the six stands of a hollow bloom reduction mill, which reduces and calibrates the outside diameter to the desired hollow diameter. In this way, only one billet diameter is required for the production of the entire range of sizes. The rolling mill is monitored from a single central control stand. The complete rolling process is fully automated, with a material flow monitor and nominal actual comparisons. The next stop is the heart of the entire process, the continuous mandrel mill with eight duo rolling stands. The mandrel bar is inserted as an interior tool. The wall thickness is then preset, primarily from the combination of the roll design and the mandrel bar. This animated sequence now clarifies the continuous mandrel mill process. The duo roll stands in the continuous mandrel mill are arranged close together and are offset from each other at 90 degree angles. The hollow has now become a seamless shell. The largest possible length is 30 meters. The mandrel bar is removed from the tube after the rolling process. A hot saw removes the shell ends. In a natural gas heated walking beam furnace, the continuous shells are again brought to a forming temperature of 950 to 980 degrees Celsius for stretch reduction. In the stretch reducing rolling mill, the diameter is reduced to the desired finished tube diameter by up to 28 individual adjustable rolling stands. In this process, the continuous tube can be elongated to as much as 10 times its original length. Two special four roller finishing stands are used to transfer round tubes to rectangular MSH profiles. These are primarily used in steel building construction and mechanical engineering. The cooling bed is set up for tubes with lengths of up to 100 meters. After the hot forming process, the tubes are tested and processed on several finishing lines in accordance with international standards and customer requirements. Rotary straighteners make sure that the tubes maintain the correct straightness and roundness. Several non-destructive testing processes are combined in a multi-test block. Here, the tubes are tested by flux leakage systems for surface defects, the wall thickness measurements are carried out with ultrasound, and the diameter test is performed by optical systems. 
Any defects are evaluated at a visual outside control station and repaired accordingly. Pipes are often exposed to high pressures, high temperature and aggressive substances. Thus, heat treatment is necessary in many cases. This heat treatment is a combination of hardening and tempering of the steel to provide the material both with high strength and maximum toughness. An ultrasonic testing ensures that the special quality requirements that are placed on oil field piping, tubes for conduit projects, boiler tubes, reactor tubes and tubes for the chemical industry are met. Here, longitudinal and transverse imperfections, laminations and wall thickness discrepancies are checked for. A major part of the continuous mandrel mill's total production covers the oil field and tubular goods as well as the project line pipe product area. Depending on the final product, the ends of the tubes are finished accordingly. Plain pipe ends or bevels in various forms are possible. The quality of the steel used is controlled by a spectral analysis and a spark test. Visual inspections continuously supplement the automatic test procedure. In a magnetic powder test, the tube is first magnetized in the test area and then treated with fluorescent dyed iron powder. The iron powder collects at even the smallest surface defects, which can be clearly seen under ultraviolet light. According to the customer requirements, a varnish can be applied to the pipes as corrosion protection. Seamless steel tubes for construction and mechanical engineering are processed in the Mecha line. The Mecha line has its own straightener, saws and test units. Thus, the tubes coming directly from the rolling mill can be adjusted. The flawlessness of the tubes is assured by running an interior and exterior check at the multi-test block. As in every production line, here too, all the tubes are monitored by a spectral analysis and a spark test prior to shipment. Thanks to close collaboration with the customer right from the planning phase, mechanical engineering tubes from Valorec offer an optimum relationship of rigidity and weight with outstanding welding and chip cutting properties. A makeup unit with length measurement, weighing and marking equipment rounds out the production unit. Cut-off units cut the tubes to length according to customer specifications. Tubes with lengths from 1.2 to 4 meters are produced in the short length unit. The diameters range between 27 and 180 millimeters. Short lengths are manufactured with narrow longitudinal tolerances of minus 0 to plus 2 millimeters. The main products are tubes used to manufacture truck axles. Very intensive contact between the customer, the sales department and the factory guarantees just-in-time delivery without the customer needing to maintain his own large inventory. Seamless hollow sections are used in a number of construction applications. They can be supplied in square form in the dimensions of 40 by 40 mm to 150 by 150 mm and in rectangular form with dimensions of 30 by 50 to 100 by 200 millimeters and with wall thicknesses from 2.9 to 20 millimeters. Seamless steel tubes from the Valorec Continuous Mandrel Mill are top quality tubes, produced, tested and monitored in accordance with national and international standards and customer specifications. The continuous mandrel mill in Mülheim an der Ruhr is the highest performing Valurec rolling mill for seamless steel tubes of up to 7 inches in exterior diameter.